This tutorial is designed to show students how to calculate the average annualized growth rate of a variable over time. The variable we'll be looking at is GDP per capita. You can see it displayed here in the B column. And we'll be looking at how to calculate the change over a number of years. The formula we will use is displayed on the right hand side of the screen. So the av average annual growth rate is given by 1 over t, where t is the number of times we see an increase or decrease over the time period, times the natural log, which is ln, of your variable in the final time period over your variable in the first time period. So what we're going to do first is calculate the average annualized growth rate from 1990 all the way to 2007. So what we'll do is we'll label cell D1 average annual growth rate and what we will do is we will work out our calculation in cell D19. So to calculate the average annualized growth rate the first thing we need to do is type equal to to tell Excel that we are going to use a, a mathematical function. We now need 1 divided by t, where t is the number of increases we observe. So in total, we observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 increases. So we have 1 divided by 17, multiplied by the natural logarithm, which is given by ln of GDP in the terminal year, so this is our cell B19, GDP in, 19, or in 2007, divided by GDP in our initial year, so GDP in 1990, so cell B2. We close our bracket and hit return. And this shows us that the average annual growth rate over this time period was 0.06, or 6.9%. We can get 6.9%. By type of equals to, selecting our cell D19 and multiplying by 100. So 6.95%. We can also calculate this average annual growth rate for sub periods, so for sub years. So let's take, for example, 1990 until 2000. So we wish to calculate the growth rate from 1990 to 2000. We will type in our cell F1, 1990 to 2000. We calculate this in the same way by typing equals to and 1 over our number of increases. In this case we have an increase from 1990 to 91, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A total of 10 increases, so 1 divided by 10, multiplied by the natural logarithm or ln of GDP in the terminal year, so in 2000, which is cell B12, divided by GDP in the initial year, which is 1990, so cell B2. We close our brackets and hit return. We can multiply this value then by 100 to get it in an easily interpretable form. And we see that the average annual growth rate for this time period was 7.55%. Now what we can do subsequently then is calculate the remaining year's average annualized growth rate, so from 2000 to 2007. So here, again we use the same formula, so equal to 1 divided by t, the number of increases, so starting in 2000 we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 increases over this time period. We multiply by the natural logarithm of GDP in the terminal year, which is cell B19, GDP in 2007, divided by GDP in the initial year, so this is GDP in 2000, so cell B12. Close our brackets, hit return, and again we can multiply this by 100 to make it more easy to interpret. We see an average annual growth rate for this period of 6.08. So overall, while the average annualized growth rate for the whole time period is 6.95%, there's a slightly higher growth rate, or average growth rate, in the 1990s of 7.55%, compared to the average annual growth rate into the thousands with 6.08%.
Uh, that concludes this tutorial. Further tutorials for EC2103 are available on Blackboard.